municipality of Colasi. We have taken you to the municipality of Sebaste. And now here, we are going to take you here in the municipality of Pandan. Here at Dos Faros Beach Resort. Mushon! Warang ta! Pandan, a town full of surprises. This town is the home of the country's cleanest inland body of water, and it is also famous because of Malumpati Cold Springs, and to numerous white sand and gray sand beaches in the northern part of the coastal town. But in our 50th episode of Mushon Waramta, we are going to take you to a place that is somewhat unfamiliar to our fellow Aklanons and to other local tourists as well. Located at Barangay E. Jakakan, Dos Faros Beach Resort can be found just along the highway, before the boundary going to the municipality of Sebaste. With the land travel for about an hour and a half, this place is not that far away compared to other resorts in the said town. It is 5 to 6 kilometers away in the southern part of Pandan, and it is accessible for everyone. The meaning of the name Dos Faros came from two words. Dos meaning two in Spanish, and faros which is a term for a large lighthouse built during the time of Alexandria in Egypt. That is why you will see two lighthouses standing on the gate. We met with the owner, Captain Bayani Aloro. This place, uh, Dos Faros, when I built these uh, four rooms, I was thinking of what will be my gate. So it happens that I bought uh, a miniature uh, lighthouse in Manila, in Market Market, Taguig. So I made a model of my post, the gate, which is two lighthouses over there. And those paros means, paros means a synonym of lighthouse. So since that I have two at my post, it is those paros. And it was uh, inspired by uh, Paros, we call the uh, a lighthouse in Mediterranean, in, uh, Alexandra, Egypt. It was built uh, 280 BC during the Roman Empire. And this loud, uh, lighthouse is one of the seven wonders of the world before. And the ruins is still there. And I think the Egyptian will uh, build another one to call it Paros. So let's with the name Paros, this one is uh, one of the biggest one. I didn't know that was an octagon. I built this an octagon same time. But in reality, I built this big one because I brought my ship here when I was uh, ship's captain. Uh, the first was 1994 when I came from Melbourne, Australia, going to Hong Kong. And it follows when I was sailing with from Japan to Iligan. Then I passed by here. I passed here just to visit my parents because of what we have, we reach in life. The parents are the most precious ones. So I love my parents, of course, so they must be proud. <laughs> now they are all gone, but somehow my father was still alive when I brought the ship here and my mother was uh, 99 years old uh, she saw this place uh, she didn't ask me why I built this but I just built it for fun and for my legacy so when can you start officially not open uh, actually soft opening it was uh, 2018 I think not really exactly 2018 but that's what I remember because I came here in 2012. Mm. Uh, I didn't plan this resort. Mm. I just wanted to do something else. The resort's concept is hope and according to Mr. Aloro, he painted most of his buildings yellow because it symbolizes that hopeful virtue. Plus, the place visualizes the connection to the seafarer's nature of work. And while roaming around the resort, I can say 
that this place is worth visiting. With an entrance fee of 50 pesos for adults and 30 pesos for children, there is the pool that I am sure people of all ages would enjoy. The free-flowing fresh water comes from a mountain spring. That is why it is refreshing to take a dip. Of course, a stay for the day would be complete if you rent this Nipa cottages ranging from 350 to 500 pesos, depending on how many people you are bringing. There is also a function hall for your events and seminars, perfect for 100 people. If you want to stay here for the night, rooms are available to complete your relaxing vacation. Ranging from 1,800 to 2,000 pesos, the rooms are clean, organized, and very comfortable to sleep. Complete amenities and a back door going directly to the poolside. There is also a parking garage for each room so that your car or any mode of transpo is safe. And of course, the highlight of this place is the big lighthouse that completes the entire atmosphere of the entire resort. Facing the pool, the Pandan Bay, and the Green Mountain 100 feet above sea level. You can rent a table at this tower lighthouse or take a picture with this amazing 360 degree view at the most upper part of the lighthouse. And to our surprise, Mr. Aloro gave us a taste of Pandan Antique with their locally made pizza and their freshly caught and grilled fish. Our appetite was delighted. Uh, first, most because they don't me, they don't know me. Sabi nila, okay daw dito. Not only for the prices, but also the food. Relax now. Uh, to see the children, see most of the children there. Even the parents, yeah. because they enjoy the free flowing. This is a free flowing uh, water coming from um, mountain spring. Oh. So far, uh, most of the guests are return guests, and uh, this come to uh, Dos Barros just to <laughs> find yourself. What is uh, to relax your family, your kids, and your friends. Dos Faros Beach Resort greeted us with a warm welcome, and we thank you, Mr. Aloro and his staff. This place should be your next destination here at the province of Antique. The municipality of Pandan has its treasure on its own, especially here at Dos Faros Beach Resort, and I definitely recommend this place. But always remember to stay safe, travel safe! Mushon, what am I? Bad past never left my mind, it's taking over. No, I should have died, that's why it's hard to stay sober. Glad to see the sun, but my heart getting colder. Life's all crazy, what we've been through. When you die, the only time that they gon' miss you. Tell my mama, no more tears, no more tissue. Ooh, just some hood, baby, with some issues. Hood, baby, from the struggle.